another tips and tricks video from Maximum Velocity. Today we are going to talk about graphite and how to properly graphite your Pinewood Derby wheel and axle. So uh, we're going to be featuring obviously the Maximum Velocity Premium Graphite. This is our own proprietary blend of graphite uh, that is specially designed for Pinewood Derby cars. Not only is it a, a phenomenal graphite, it comes in a very uh, nice bottle with an easy tip applicator uh, so that you can get the graphite into the correct places and just not all over the place. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to be using some of our fluff, fluffy pipe cleaners and we're going to burnish some of this graphite into the bore of uh, a Pinewood Derby wheel. We're going to give you some inside tips and tricks to uh, give your car the best chance of winning your Pinewood Derby race and uh, graphiting the wheel and the axle properly uh, will give you a huge advantage. So, we got a, our BSA wheel here um, and we're assuming that the wheel bore has already been prepped, uh, the hubs have been prepped and polished, how will you like them. Uh, if you'd like to watch how to do that, we'll put a link to our other video uh, on how to properly polish the wheel bores and the hubs of an axle. Uh, in, in the link or in a link in the comments and then once you learn how to polish the wheel this is the next step on how you graphite. You can graphite it onto a, a, a wheel that isn't polished and this will still work great but it's most effective when the wheel bore has already been polished as well as the hubs. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of our pipe cleaners here and we're just going to cut off a piece. It doesn't have to be too long, a couple inches here. We're going to take that piece that we just cut off and we're going to chuck it up into our drill, a little cordless drill. So once we get it in there, we want to fill the end of that pipe cleaner because there is a wire that runs through there. We want to make sure that none of that wire is sticking up where it can potentially scratch and damage the inside of that bore. That would be a very bad thing for us to do. All right, so here's where one of the tips and tricks for graphite comes in. So the way we're going to burnish this wheel, burnish this graphite into the inner bore of this wheel is we're going to take a little bit of lemon pledge and we're going to spin the, the pipe cleaner and we're going to spray a little bit of that pledge on there. And we're not spraying a whole bunch, just enough to get it damp with, with the pledge. And then we're going to fully graphite this pipe cleaner. Once we get a good help in a graphite on here, we're going to insert this in the wheel and start spinning. Now, make sure when you're graphiting you have a cloth or something underneath you. Graphite is horrible, it will stain, it will get you in very much trouble with your spouse. So uh, make sure you use it in a way that you can clean it up easily and whatever you're using, you're not worried about getting damaged. Alright, so we got this coated in graphite. Where we're just going to spin it slightly and we're going to slide it in the bore of that wheel. And there will be a little bit of resistance. And now we're just going to spin this at medium speed. And we'll go in here and we'll put some more graphite on, on this pipe cleaner. And we're going to do this again. And you can do a few seconds. You don't want to generate a whole bunch of heat inside that bore, but you want to spin it well enough to where it's embedding that graphite into the bore. That's where the pledge is going to come in. The pledge has some really good bonding agents in it with the wax, and so it creates a really nice slippery surface in there. And the graphite and the pledge work great together, uh, and you can burnish it in there. If you were able to have like a jeweler's loop, you could look in there, and that that bore will be nice and shiny and it'll almost look like uh, it's got a coating of graphite in there, uh, a nice shiny finish. Now, that's how you do that inside of the bores, um, but we still need to do the outer hub and the inner, or the outer hub and the inner hub. And here's the way I like to do it. There's a couple ways you can, you can do this. Um, I like to just take a Q-tip and we're gonna cut it in half and we're gonna do chalk that up in the drill. We 
We're going to do the same thing. Just some slight little dusting of the, the pledge onto the Q-tip. Then we're going to graphite it up. Once we get a good coat on the graphite, on the tip with graphite, we're just going to push it up to that bore and we're going to spin it just like we did at the low speed again. And then we'll take this and we'll put some graphite on it. Whoa, there it is. And there's how you make a mess with graphite. And we'll spin that on there. And then we'll do the same to the inner bore. And then you have a nice shiny finish here. We're going to just kind of wipe off the excess. Alright. And it's kind of hard to see. Ron, I might be able to zoom in a here and you might be able to see it but you were building up a nice little layer of graphite on that hub on both of those hubs now another way you can do is I have a nice little piece of foam here and this is the way I like to do this is I have this foam here and then I will put some graphite on the hub part and then the outer lip part and then I take the wheel and I just spin it on that graphite and work it in and what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to create a nice slick edge on both that inner hub and then that inner ring of the tread. And you can see it's just nice and built up on there. Uh, and it, whoops. Yep, that's graphite. It gets really slick. And uh, you'll see that it's just nice and smooth and shiny. So, now that the wheel's ready, we're going to have our axle. And here again, we're assuming that the axle has already been polished, deburred, if you're using the stock BSA. This is just a stock um, maximum velocity axle that comes in our kits. Uh, it is one of our, our um, speed axles. So it, it does not have any burrs on it and is nice and straight, but it is not polished in any way, shape, or form. So here again, when we have a nice clean axle polished ready to go, we're going to take our pledge and we're going to spray the axle. Just get a nice little coat on there, and we can wipe it around a little bit, just make sure it's coated all over really good. We're going to let that set for just a second, and then we're going to take a, a, a towel or a uh, paper towel, and we're going to just wipe off the, the heavy portion. So now it should just be kind of lightly coated with the residual of, of the pledge. We don't want to leave any of the really wet or damp stuff on there because then it'll cause the, the graphite to kind of gel up and, and uh, clump up. So now we've got a little residue on there. We're going to slide the axle in and this is where we're going to start graphiting. So we're going to take the graphite with our nice little tip applicator and we're going to squeeze some in right here in between the head and the wheel and we're going to just spin it, kind of try to get it get it into that in between the wheel and the the axle alright and then we're gonna flip it over we're gonna do the same thing here on the inside and we can spin it and kinda of push it up and down and work at that graphite in there and this stuff gets all over the place man it makes a huge huge mess Alright, so this one's starting to spin pretty good. We'll do this other side again. Alright. We'll probably call that good. So, the key points to knowing when you're graphiting, you're trying to get the graphite in between the axle and the wheel bore, or the head of the axle and the wheel. Anywhere that there's contact, you want to get the graphite. So, when you, if the axle is installed on a car, you're going to want to spray it in between that axle and that wheel on the head, and you're going to want to flip the car over and get it right in the hub and spray it down in there. And then 
you know, spin it and try to try to work it in. But you can see a nice graphite wheel. Um, this wheel is very out of round. Uh, it is just a stock wheel, but it'll spin for quite some time, and you'll have a whole lot of success with uh, this process and the correct way to graphite a car so that your car will race and it will be consistent uh, and it won't fall off anywhere near as quickly as an unprepped car on graphite. So I hope this helps. Uh, remember, you can get all this stuff at MaximumVelocity.com and uh, anything else you may need for your Pinewood Derby build. Any uh, questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below and we'll be more than happy to answer them and uh, hopefully be able to make a video on any of the other stuff you'd like to learn about Pinewood Derbies. Have a good one. See you next time.